beautiful souls, it's Emily with Twins and Union, and I am um, wishing everyone a happy 1212 gateway today. Um, I cannot believe that it is December 12th, 2017 already. Um, it is snowing here today where I live, so it's starting to feel a lot like Christmas. And um, we have the winter solstice coming up soon. Um, we also have a new moon in Sagittarius coming up soon. So there's just a lot of exciting things happening. And um, I just have some new decks of cards. And I thought it would be fun to play with my cards and um, to take a look at the energies for this gateway. Um, it just really feels like um, you know, the ascension has started to accelerate and we are in um, a powerful time right now and the energies are shifting and changing a lot. So um, I just thought I would, you know, pull some cards here um, to give us more insight um, as far as what is happening with the energies. Um, also, um, as far as like numerology and um, numbers, if you have been seeing the number 144 a lot, um, for me I started seeing it I think around October and um, you know I just figured that it had to do with the 144,000 um, unions and um, you know I noticed that it kept getting stronger and more and more and I was just seeing it like multiple, multiple times a day where I, it was just to the point of like, okay, I need to Google like what is going on with this 144. And um, anyway, I learned that it's related to the 1212 gateway, um, you know, which was interesting because it was like it just kept getting more and more as, you know, I started approaching the 1212 gateway. And, um, you know, 12 times 12 is 144. <laughs> So if you have been noticing 144 or 441 or 1144 or 1044, um, you know, it's it's all related, or just, you know, if you've been seeing 1212, um, it's all related to this gateway. So this is a really monumental um, gateway right now where we are really coming into unity consciousness and the unity consciousness relates to the 333. So if you've been seeing a lot of the threes, 333, three, three, um, 333, three, three, then that is um, a sign of this unity consciousness that we are coming into, this Christ consciousness, this um, these golden energies where um, we are shifting out of the energies of separation and, um, you know, the words of you and me and moving into a place of us and we and seeing that we are all one and we are all connected and we are, we carry, you know, that um, divinity, that Christ consciousness within us. We are, every person that we meet is reflecting back to us a, a piece of ourselves and um, we're just, we're all connected. Um, there is no separation. Um, so anyway, um, I just wanted to share some of those insights that have come to me about this 1212 gateway. And um, I have prayed over and shuffled the cards and I've got them all laid out here. And um, we can dive into the reading and get a closer look here at, you know, what this 1212 gateway is all about and what some of the healing is that we will be doing. So, okay, I'm going to turn the camera towards the cards and we will get started. Um, let's see. And I will hold up the cards as always so that you can get um, a better close-up look. Um, and like I said, I have some new decks that I am using. Um, let's see, one of them, well, I'm using my standard deck that I love, which is the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Um, I am also using this wonderful new deck from Christabel Jessica called Divine Feminine and Masculine Reunited, and she also 
has a wonderful YouTube channel with a lot of great um, information for Twin Flames. Um, so Christabel Jessica, if you want to check that out. Um, I'm using the um, <clears throat> Power of Surrender cards. And those are by Judith Orloff. And then I'm also using um, the Earth Magic deck. And that is by Stephen D. Farmer. So just, yeah, I've got some fun decks and I thought it would be fun to, um, you know, try something fun and different for a change um, to give us more insight here. So um, let's see, where do I want to start? I think I will start with this um, card that Spirit just told me to pull out of the deck to represent um, these energies. Um, as you can see, this is a number 12. So we have that number 12 represented here. And it adds up to a number 3, which as I was saying, um, that number 3 represents um, that Christ consciousness, the golden energies. Um, you know, it's the consciousness around love and compassion and oneness, um, unification, merging, wholeness, um, all of those energies. And, you know, we can see in this image there's these orbs of light representing all of that divine support um, that is surrounding us. And this card is also, it's called um, the Temple Path. And, you know, you can see there's this path here that's kind of swirling around like a spiral. So, you know, that spiral represents ascension. So we are on the spiritual path of ascension and we are moving up, you know, like moving up these steps towards our divinity, towards, um, you know, this really solid structure, this really solid foundation. Um, and you know, ultimately our our soul's truth, our soul's destiny, um, our home with our beloved. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful card. There's a lot of green energy here too with the heart, heart healing. So anyway, I felt guided to share that as just like an overall kind of energy. And then um, I have a uh, general energy here for the Divine Masculine and a general energy here for the Divine Feminine and then um, the energy of the Union. So um, for the Divine Masculine, the energy that came up for him for this 1212 gateway um, is number 22, Yin Yang. And the number 22 represents the um, sacred union. It represents um, the Star of David, which is, you know, that those two triangles, one triangle representing the masculine energy and one triangle representing the feminine energy, and both of them coming together um, as one. And so here we see it represented as, you know, the yin-yang coming together. We see this white swirl here representing the feminine with her masculine little fiery dot there and then we see the swirl of fire representing the masculine energy with his little feminine blue dot within himself so and this is just a really great reminder too that you know within each of us we carry the masculine and the feminine so within if you are primarily the feminine energy holder you are carrying the masculine within you and then if you are primarily the masculine energy holder you are carrying some of the feminine within you and so really there is no separation we are a reflection of our beloved's you know masculine aspect or feminine aspect and we are mirroring that back to each other and we can see all of this the golden energies here coming through. So, 
So, you know, the energy for the Divine Masculine now is really, this is showing that he is really coming into a place of wholeness within himself. He's coming home to himself. And he's merging that feminine dot with his masculine um, energy. So this is really beautiful because um, a lot of the Divine Masculines have you know, embarked on their journey of awakening and they are all learning and growing and, you know, coming out of that sleep and um, collectively starting to waken up to their soul and starting to wake, awaken to their own feminine aspect within them and to bring that into balance and harmony. And it's, it's really um, beautiful. They're starting to really feel this wholeness. And this is also, you know, like I said, a card of union, and I feel like the Divine Masculine is really feeling the connection, really feeling that this is um, a sacred connection that he has with his feminine. And that part of that awareness is allowing him to feel more of his wholeness within himself. So really beautiful energy for the Divine Masculine here. And then for the Divine Feminine, we have Appreciation. And, you know, the Divine Feminine is really um, collectively rising up and transcending, um, you know, fear and doubt and confusion and, you know, um, worries, anxieties. And she's really rising up and transcending all of that and moving out of that space into a place of appreciation. You know, it's a challenging journey, yes, but she's starting to be able to see the bigger picture and um, to be able to um, appreciate the journey, even though it has been challenging. Um, you know, she's really, you know, she's got this handkerchief here. She's shed a lot of tears in this journey, but even so, she's she's holding this beautiful rose, and so she can appreciate the beauty of it, and appreciate the, the fragrance and the perfume, and, and see the good aspects that come out of the journey, even though it can be painful, to really rise above all of the pain, and to actually see the pain as a gift, too. Um, and this is a number 15, so we have that number one representing her individuality. 2017 is, you know, a number one year, and one represents new beginnings, and one also represents the individual. And so 2017 has been all about us coming into our own power, becoming um, a sovereign being for the divine feminine, especially to... Um, you know, step into the power of her femininity and to really, you know, own that power and rise above, um, you know, all of that victim mindset and rise above all of that, you know, fear and doubt and to really step into the beauty of who she is. And so, you know, this is her standing as a sovereign being. You know, I'm thinking of like the um, the Nine of Pentacles where, you know, you see the, the beautiful feminine figure and she's surrounded by beauty in a garden and um, appreciating the beauty around her. Um, so she's standing on her own two feet. And this is a number five. So, you know, this is representing this change and transformation that's taking place for the Divine Feminine. And... Um, you know, when we add the five and the one, then that adds up to um, the number six, which is the energy of the lovers. Um, you know, bringing that joy and that creativity and that divine um, light and grounding that into the physical world um, through the heart. And, you know, this is a number four, too, when I think back to this Divine Masculine card, and that is another um, number of grounding. So we are grounding this 
light and that number 144 you know if you haven't been seeing that then that is um, a code that is um, an awakening code that is letting you know that you you are an awakened being who is being asked to ground this light this divine light onto the planet to assist in the planetary ascension so if you have some time today um, or even over the next few days to just um, do some meditation and vis visualization imagine this light coming um, down and grounding that into the earth into mother Gaia and I feel like this next card really emphasizes that as well. Um, this is Healer of the Ages. So this is the union energy. So we need to remember um, as Twin Flames that we are here to assist in, you know, the healing and the ascension of the planet. So, um, you know, we see this this healer on this card and we can see he's surrounded by all of this light and he has you know all of this light emanating out of his heart radiating and going out into the world and his seventh chakra is illuminated and his third eye is illuminated so he's really receiving all of this divine light you know um, that is shining down on us and that is part of, you know, what these gateways and portals are about is we receive a lot of light codes and a lot of, um, you know, waves of divine light that are coming down to earth. And, you know, as twin flames, we are like lightning rods and we take that light and then we ground it into the planet, um, you know, to help assist with the healing of um, the planet. and and all of humanity. So this is just such a beautiful image that's really representing how we are, you know, taking this light and grounding it and sharing it and radiating it out into the world, whether we are working in an actual hands-on healer kind of capacity or just using whatever spiritual gifts we were given, you know, whether that is some kind of a creative gift or you know, maybe you are um, knowledgeable like in science or maybe you are a teacher or a counselor or working in the medical field or, you know, um, whatever your calling is, really um, sharing that with the world and, um, you know, sharing that love and that light and helping other people. And as we continue to move forward, um, you know, things are going to continue to really be accelerated in this ascension where everyone around us is going to start waking up and they're going to need help. You know, we are, we're really the, the pioneers that are paving the path and then, you know, once, once all of us come into our unions, then that's really when the work starts because that's, when everyone around us is going to be waking up and they're going to feel lost and confused and they're going to need guidance. And so we will be able to assist them. And we see these, you know, twin flames in the background behind him here, just as a reminder of um, the twin flame um, soul mission, the twin flame um, soul blueprint for how important it is for us to be here. Um, we are grounding this unity consciousness onto the earth. And this again, this we have two, we have a 15 and now we have a 51. So again, this is change and transformation. And um, that number one with being this empowered sovereign being, really owning your spiritual gifts and really um, sharing those and radiating that out into the world and, um, you know, standing tall in who you are as a divine being. And, you know, um, through that, we will be bringing a lot of change and transformation um, into the earth plane for humanity. So these are all of the general energies that are going on now with this 1212 gateway. 
And then I asked, um, you know, from the um, Divine Feminine and Masculine Reunited deck. Um, it's a really wonderful deck because it has different gods and goddesses, and then it has shadow aspects and light aspects. So I asked, um, what is the um, god or goddess that is assisting the Divine Masculine at this time of the 1212 Gateway? And so the god goddess that came up that is supporting the Divine Masculine right now is Mary Magdalene. And she is the goddess of strength. And um, we see Mary Magdalene standing here and she's wearing this, this red um, dress. And what I was really sensing from this card is um, that the, the Divine Masculine is really um, owning his power. I was just really, you know, feeling a strong feeling of power um, in this red. So, you know, he's really owning his truth. He's really stepping into his authenticity. And Mary Magdalene is assisting him in finding the strength to do that. Um, really overcoming all of that conditioning from his childhood, from society, from family belief systems, um, from wounding um, around the masculine, who the masculine should be, what he should do, um, you know, what a masculine is, all of that. He's, he's really stepping into his own power now and redefining who the masculine is as a divine being and stepping into that energy of the emperor and the king. Um, and this is a number one card, which makes me think of the magician here. And we see Mary Magdalene has, it almost looks like she's doing alchemy here, where she is, you know, taking these different herbs and, and liquids and substances, and she's, doing some kind of a chemical, all chemical process here. So I'm sensing that the Divine Masculine is in this kind of magician manifestation energy um, as he is, you know, transmuting these old things that don't fit into the new template of the Divine Masculine. He is transmuting all of that as he is stepping into his power owning that king energy, owning that emperor energy, owning his divinity as a sovereign being, and really defining what his truth is and what's, what's authentic for him. So this is just a really um, beautiful card for the Divine Masculine. And um, let's see, do I want to... I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll share the, the um, card that came up for the feminine too then. So um, the God that is assisting the Divine Feminine at this time of the 1212 Gateway is um, Osiris. And um, Osiris is the God of Transformation. And this really feels like it relates back to this Appreciation card where the Divine Feminine is really, um, you know, going through a transformation, an energetic transformation at this time where she is transmuting um, and transcending all of those old belief systems around um, this journey, this connection with her Divine Masculine. And, you know, one of those thoughts and ideas that came to me as I was looking at this card was this idea that the feminine, unless she has her masculine right there by her side, expressing his love to her and showing her, you know, how devoted he is to her and being right there with her all the time, you know, that she's broken, you know, and we see him wearing, you know, all of these wounds. Osiris was cut into so many pieces and then Isis, you know, gathered up the pieces and helped put him back together. 
And so I just was feeling this energy of the Divine Feminine, the Osiris is here supporting the Divine Feminine as she's going through this transformation, realizing that she is whole, she is complete. You know, her Divine Masculine is her beloved um, Divine counterpart, but she is whole and complete within herself. And she is lovable within herself, within that wholeness. And this is a number three. So, you know, that number three representing that Christ consciousness, um, that we are not separate. We are not all these little pieces that are separated. We are, you know, we are whole. We are, you know, um, aspects of God that's that number three that unity consciousness and when the divine feminine can transcend all of these old beliefs about her brokenness um, you know and move into this state of appreciation um, you know we see this dove here and I just feel like you know she's going to come into a place of true peace, true inner peace, because she will really feel in the core of her being that, that she's okay for who she is, she's whole, she doesn't need the Divine Masculine to be there all the time, you know, and we have the twin within, you know, we, we have to remember that you know, yes, we love our beloved, and of course we want to have him by our side, but we also know that we are not separated. Separation is an illusion, and we have the twin within that is always in our heart, and we can always be with our beloved when we go into our heart, and they live within us. Um, and when she can arrive to that place of not feeling broken and transcending all of these old thoughts, then she will achieve this beautiful state of inner peace like the dove. And um, so, you know, then these, this is beautiful because this all is so connected. Um, I asked, what are the shadow aspects that we are bringing into the light? during this 1212 gateway and so um, the shadow aspect that came up for the divine masculine is boundaries and so this you know correlates back to this strength card I feel and what I was sensing from this boundaries card is it's not so much about that the divine masculine needs to put up walls because that's part of what is coming down. So this is more of a card of the Divine Masculine letting his walls come down. You know, he's had like huge, thick, impenetrable, <laughs> where you can't penetrate it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Um, but yeah, so he's had these big, thick walls up that nobody could get through to him. And he's, you know, been distant and cold and kind of shut down, but these walls are coming down and, you know, it's one thing to have boundaries, you know, to have healthy boundaries where there's a balance of, you know, letting out the, keeping the things out that don't serve our highest good, but still letting the good things to come in especially, you know, love from, from your counterpart. So, yeah, that was just the energy that I was picking up from this boundaries card, and this is um, a number nine. So I feel like the Divine Masculine is really um, in a place of completing some cycle where he has felt like he needed to put up these big walls to protect himself, and now these walls are starting to come down, and he's starting to soften, and he's starting to open up and he's learning, you know, how to stand in his truth, how to stand in his authenticity, and how to really um, own his own power to where he can 
say yes this is for my highest good and let that in and no this is not for my highest good and I'm not going to I'm going to you know create a healthy boundary here and I feel like I said I feel like this boundaries card relates back to the strength card where you know Mary Magdalene is assisting him with this completion of this um, you know cycle with his boundaries and then for the feminine the shadow aspect that she is bringing to light is codependency and again this just relates back perfectly with this um, Osiris card the god of transformation um, you know like I was saying the divine feminine this codependent thought pattern, um, you know, that's part of the old template that the divine feminine is breaking down, you know, is this idea that the divine feminine is broken or incomplete without, you know, having her divine masculine right there expressing his love to her. And it's, you know, like this need and this desperation of needing him to validate her to know that she's loved and to know that she's accepted and to know that she's okay and to know that she's whole. And that's part of what we as the Divine Feminine Twin Flame Collective are here to break down is to say, you know, the Divine Feminine is beautiful and worthy and lovable and, you know, acceptable on her own two feet. And, you know, her Divine Masculine enhances her life. He doesn't complete her, but he enhances what what is already whole within her. And so I feel like, you know, and again, this is a number one. So it's going back to that um, idea of the sovereign being, the empowered sovereign, standing on your own two feet and standing tall and who you are and knowing, yes, this is who I am. Yes, these are my gifts. Yes, I have something to contribute. I am a powerful divine being and, you know, really um, celebrating who you are and not, you know, being in a place of lack of like, you know, that without my Divine Masculine right there, then I'm lacking and something's missing and I'm feeling a void and, you know, I really, really need him in order to feel okay. So this is just, you know, part of this transformation that's happening for the Divine Feminine, um, you know, with this gateway. And, you know, what we are, what light aspects are we working with? And, um... So the light aspect for the Divine Masculine is joy. And this is another number nine. So the Divine Masculine is really completing um, a, a cycle of ascension, um, really moving into his joy, moving into his power. And, um, you know, once, once he can step into the strength of his um, authenticity with you know this goddess of strength here with Mary Magdalene step into that um, step into that energy of the magician where he's he can say to himself you know I'm the master of my destiny I can create the life that I want for myself and I'm strong and I'm listening to my soul and I'm going to go after what I know is for my highest good. And no one and all these ideas, all this conditioning, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm going to listen to my soul. And I'm going to create healthy boundaries that are going to allow me to own my joy and really create this beautiful, abundant, joyful, happy life where I'm dancing with my divine feminine you know I want her in my life and we see like this rainbow energy coming through here and all of these you know sparkling lights and just true authentic joy the divine masculine is ready to bring that to light 
and um, the light aspect that the Divine Feminine is bringing in is balance, you know, and that perfectly fits in with that idea of the yin and the yang and balancing the masculine and balancing the feminine. And, you know, it's when the Divine Feminine is you know, in this energy of, um, you know, feeling this codependency that I need my divine masculine there. I need him by my side. I need him expressing his love for me. I need him doing this for me. I need him validating me. Then there's an imbalance there because the divine feminine is not embracing her own inner masculine. This is, you know, the Divine Feminine is really um, embracing her own inner masculine now. She's stepping into her own power. She's serving others. She's getting on her mission. She's looking at her, her dreams. She's looking at what makes her happy. She's, you know, getting creative. She's doing all these amazing things and finding her happiness and finding her joy. And she's manifesting in her physical world. So all of that, you know, taking action, manifesting in your physical world, um, stepping into your mission, serving others, all of that is masculine qualities. So when the Divine Feminine is really embracing her masculine, her own inner masculine within herself, she's creating balance and harmony within her being. She's moving into that place of wholeness and oneness and balancing her inner feminine and her inner masculine. And, um, and this is a number four. So, you know, number four is creating those strong foundations on the physical plane, using that masculine energy to make things happen, to live her dreams, to be in her joy. So that's really beautiful how these all um, tie together. And so then um, with this um, surrender deck, I asked, you know, what do we need to surrender as we are, you know, bringing this shadow stuff into light and working with these light aspects? Um, what needs to be surrendered? So, so for the Divine Masculine, um, he needs to surrender to receiving support and love. And again, this ties in perfectly with him letting these walls down. You know, he had so many walls up that nobody could get through. He couldn't really receive the love. He was so invested in protecting himself. Um, it says, allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. And we see these um, two polar bears here, kind of, I don't know, they, I don't know if they're like laughing or about to kiss. <laughs> they look like they have really happy faces. And then we see this beautiful violet here representing you know, the divine um, energy coming through. So, so yeah, so the divine masculine is, he's letting those walls down, he's surrendering to this connection. He's really realizing, you know, that this connection with his divine feminine is true, it is real. This is what his soul wants and he's ready to let the walls down and he's ready to stand in his truth and he's finding that strength to manifest his dreams to manifest this joyful life that he's wanting and i asked for like um an advice card to kind of clarify or go along with the surrender card um and so the card that came up with this surrender card was island and it says solitude and so what I was picking up from that is just that, you know, part of what the masculine has been conditioned to believe um, 
is, you know, I am a rock, I am an island, I don't need anyone, I can do it myself, kind of that attitude, and so that's part of, like, what he's letting go of and letting the walls come down so that he can receive love and support in his life. Um, and, you know, it's when we really let those walls down, you know, and this is, I think, you know, it's important too for if you are a feminine watching this remember that we have that masculine energy within us so we can stop and ask ourselves you know where are we with our boundaries within our own masculine within us where are we with manifesting the joy with within us um from our own inner masculine place and if if you're a masculine watching this remember you have that feminine energy and how is this um, feminine aspect of the reading reflecting within you, within your feminine aspect. Because I know within me, I, I, my inner masculine does put up walls sometimes and wants to just be like this rock that can just, you know, I can do it myself. I don't need any help, you know? <laughs> so I think these are just important messages for everyone to keep in mind. Um, and then um, for the feminine, um, the card that came up is surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Um, it says, let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. And again, this just beautifully relates back to, you know, this transformation um, that the Divine Feminine is going through as she's transmuting, you know, all of that fear and doubt and worry and codependency and she's rising above and transcending that and owning her power and seeing herself as whole and being able to appreciate this journey and appreciate how all of the pain and all of the challenge has you know, assisted her in rising up and moving into her power. Um, so, you know, maybe take some time over the next couple days here and really, um, you know, if you want to sit down with your journal or if you're just going about your day and you have an aha moment, you could jot it down. But think about what are those limiting ideas about yourself from the past that you need to surrender and let go of. What is, you know, creating a block from you fully being in your wholeness, in your truth, in your inner peace? You know, what ideas have you had that have made you feel broken um, or wounded, you know? And how can you transcend that? And the advice card that came up with this is winter solstice. So we are moving into the winter solstice here, I think on December 21st or 22nd, um, in the Northern Hemisphere we are. And so it says reflection. So, you know, take some time and just kind of do an inventory. What is What thoughts and ideas about yourself that stem from the past no longer serve you? And how can you transcend them so that you can move more into this place of union within yourself, this place of wholeness? Because it's really, you know, when the Divine Feminine can really be in that place of, you know, wholeness and transcending her, her woundedness and letting go of that need to, you know, have your Divine Masculine right by your side expressing his love and move into that place of being a sovereign being, being that divine, beautiful, powerful, divine feminine, like, you know, really owning that and letting it be like, really that empress, you know, that serene queen or that empress that's just like, you know, sitting tall in her throne. You know, when she's in that place of sitting tall in her throne and she knows who she is and she knows her power, that is when the Divine Masculine is like, you know, just so drawn to her. 
So, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, take some time as we approach this solstice to really go within and reflect, like, on what, what limiting thoughts um, and ideas are there that need to be released um, so that you can move forward and move into this place of balance? You know, where can you embrace your own inner masculine more um, so that, you know, there can be that balance there and you can really stand in your truth of who you are as a divine feminine and really appreciate your femininity and know how powerful that is. So, um, so this is just, you know, um, a really, really nice snapshot of what we are working with here at this 1212 gateway and, um, you know, how we can take this light that is coming in and really ground it and really shift um, the energy within um, ourselves and within our union and, um, you know, within the whole collective. Um, and I thought I would just um, end by showing you the bottom of this deck. Um, I just really love this card. Um, it says rainbow and blessings. And so we just have to remember the rainbow and remember that, you know, this is God's promise. This is a reminder that, you know, this is destiny. This is what we're here to do and to keep the faith. And good things are coming. Blessings are coming. So, um, yeah rainbow energies coming through really beautiful all right so um yeah i think just you know like i said if you can take some time to just sit for a few minutes and meditate and bring in that light and ground that um for this 12 12 gateway um and just, you know, remember that we are powerful divine beings on a very special mission here. And um, so I hope that everyone um, has a beautiful 1212 gateway. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, um, I still have some spots available next week. So I will put that information in the description box below. And I am sending you all so much love and light and many blessings in your journey. Bye-bye.